Hi, welcome to Keyboard Tips. My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'll be talking about the sustain pedal from my point of view. On an acoustic piano, the sustain pedal can be found at the bottom. There may be three or two pedals in total. The sustain pedal is usually the rightmost pedal and is generally the most used. The pedals are activated with the feet. On a digital electronic keyboard, the sustain pedal may be built in or you may need to acquire one separately. If you need to acquire one separately, make sure your keyboard supports this feature. The pedals on an acoustic piano operate mechanically while electronic pedals operate electronically. This may seem obvious, but the reason I mention this is because the effects of a mechanical pedal mechanism differs from that of an electric one. And this is also true for acoustic pianos and digital electronic keyboards in general. The sustain pedal, as the name suggests, is used to sustain notes. We would want to sustain notes for continuity and we can also use it to do some cool things which expand the possibilities of how we play the piano or keyboard. So just a um, quick example, so at the moment I'm not pressing the sustain pedal down. If I strike a note, let's say C, I press it and then it dies, the sound dies. Um, the sound gets dampened. But if I hold down the sustain pedal and press C, take my hands off, it sustains the note. If I take my foot off the pedal, the sound stops. So let me um, expand this example with chords. So if I want to play um, a chord progression or a pattern, um, for example, I'm not press. I'm not using the pedal for this. Um, for this. This, this example, so. All right, so that's how it sounded without the use of a pedal. Now, if I use a pedal, this is how it's gonna sound. Right, so you can see there's a difference. It's more smooth, it's more fluent, it's more continuous. It doesn't have little breaks and pauses um, in between it. So it's, it can be subtle sometimes, and if you're really, really skilled, you can, you know, make it seem as if it's continuous without the pedal. But um, the pedal is there for a reason. Um, also, with the pedal, you can do some cool stuff, like if you want to do a run, instead of the run, you can make it sound, you can sustain. So let me just use the example. So I'm not gonna use the pedal and then I'm gonna use the pedal. So if I wanna do a run like this. Right? The notes die down when I lift my finger off them. But if I, if I use the sustain pedal, sustains it, and you get that nice, rich sound, right? So I can do the same with, right? No sustain, that's no sustain pedal. So with the sustain pedal, get me, that's a better example. So the use of the sustain pedal, you know, it has its uses and um, most 
if you want to take after learning the basics you're going to want to consider um, using a sustain pedal so I use the sustain pedal um, all the time when I'm playing when I started learning and playing the keyboard I was not using the pedal and I didn't really have um, an initiative to do so um, I wasn't so familiar with it um, but I noticed that the way I was playing did not sound like the people I was trying to imitate even though I played the exact same chords the difference was the sustain pedal or at least that was a major factor so if you're trying to imitate me bear in mind that I am using a sustain pedal unless I state otherwise thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos please like share and subscribe for more keyboard tips hi my name is Jonathan and I would just like to say thanks for watching I hope you learned something and or found the content interesting please comment if you have any questions want to provide feedback or anything else you'd like to add please share this video with anyone you feel may find this useful and or interesting please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so that you won't miss out on any other content from the channel. Jonathan out. Peace.